Hi everyone, my name is Alexander Yankowski and today we will talk about linking in Next.js. Our main goals for the session are to get familiar with link component from Next.js, figure out how to support client-side transitions between the pages and keep in mind about SEO optimizations. Ok, let's start. So, we have already a predefined project with two pages, index page and about page. Now we want to support client-side transition between our pages and let's say that we want to use a link from our index page to about page. And we could do it in two ways. First way is just using regular a tag with href prop and another way we could have a custom function component to support our routing. Let's try them out. Let's remove this return statement. Client-side transitions between routes are supported by the link component exported by next slash link, which goes out of the box from Next.js. Let's import it. OK. And for the first case with regular a tag, we need just to render that a tag, which should be wrapped to our link component. Let's do it. And keep attention that we add href prop for our link component. It will do all the magic itself. Link will support client-side transition like uh, in all single page applications, but also it will provide href attribute on a server for a tag, for a tag. So SEO of your website will not be heard. OK, let's support the second case where we have another function component which wraps our a tag with something else. So let's say we have a navigation button component, something like this. It takes onclick and href as props and let's render it inside div as our wrapper. And inside we'll have a where we will pass href prop and onclick prop. OK, and let's add some string inside. To understand what is the intention of this link, it will be go to about page. OK, and we see that here we wrap a tag inside the custom component and we also need to pass on click handler as well to support triggering navigation correctly. Now let's add our navigation button component inside the link component to our index page in the same way as we have already done it for regular a tag. OK, but that's not it. In comparison to wrapping a regular a tag, we need to help Next.js to identify specific element which is being used for navigation by forwarding ref to that element. So let's import React from React and use React forward ref wrapper to pass a ref to our a tag. So forward ref takes ref as a second argument and let's add that prop to our a tag. OK, cool. And also we need to add pass href attribute to hint Next.js to pass actually our ref. OK, so now Next.js knows that it should pass href down to the components tree and also it knows the specific element to pass href to. OK, let's move on. OK, let's go to our about page. Here we want to add just two buttons. One will be go back, the same as like popping out the last route in our history. And another one will be go home. So we will push new route like index route to our history. Let's add those buttons here with handlers. We will name them like the same go back and go home. OK, we need to import our use router hook as we used in previous lesson to create router object here to support our navigation. Keep in mind that such approach is possible, but it might hurt your SEO because links will not be detected by crawlers which scrape your website. OK, let's also import use callback to wrap our go back and go home callback handlers. And inside it, let's use router.back method 
from next router. And inside go home handler we will use router.push method and pass index root here. And again, it's possible to use programmatic API for routing, but it's much better to use links to not hurt your SEO of your website. Okay, uh, let's check this out. Let's run our application in dev mode. Go to localhost 3000. Okay, we see two links as expected. Let's go to about page. Okay, check here, go back. We see that our history is empty. Let's also check our go to about page and go home button. Okay, now history is not empty. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you and see you in the next video.